Hello StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is between Snoot and Happy on Ruins of Ceres. In the bottom right side of the map, we have the Red Terran player, it is Happy. And in the top left side of the map, we have the Blue Zerg player, it is Snoot, representing Team Liquid. Alrighty then, a TVZ between two players who are pretty popular on the channel, Snoot, one of the favorite Zerg players of all time. Happy as well, a pretty impressive Russian Terran. He's not the Korean Happy, he retired a couple of years ago. But still is doing a great job holding up the Happy name. Some of my best games from Terrans have been from Happy on this channel. So this is from Katowice 2016. It's not part of the actual WCS, but it was part of the Challenger round that was held to try to get into it. So I figured it was pro versus pro, two great players. I know this is gonna be a good game. So I figured why the heck not cast it? I'm excited for a good TVZ today. Snoot has no problem going for a 15 hatch on this map, especially considering it is so big. It's just so hard to get a nice scout off as the Terran, especially considering their cross spawn here. Happy will take a while to find the Zerg player. He's not SCV scouting, so he's not super worried about it right now. There goes the extractor, there goes the spawning pool. Nothing too crazy coming out of here from Snoot. No three hatch before pool stuff, which again, some players can uh, hold off, can uh, pull off <laughs> rather. But today, Snoot not feeling super confident in doing that immediate reaper popping out of that barracks. Look at that timing from Happy. He's gonna scout this area first, not gonna be happy with what he finds, and then send an SCV out for a scout down to this bottom left side. And he won't find anything there, but he might see this Overlord and know exactly where his opponent is. That is something that's happened on this map before between Terran and Zerg. SCV heading on out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Is he gonna see the Overlord? Oh man, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. And no, no, I don't think the SCV saw that. I think the Overlord might have seen it just a little bit there, but the sight range on the SCV is not as great as it is on the Overlord. And yeah, didn't see it. Okay, just barely did not see that Overlord, but he knows he's not here and now he's gonna know he's not here. So by process of elim elimination, Snoot is cross positions from Happy, information that he will file away for another time. Perhaps sending his Reaper out, it's just it's so late by now. It's just so late by now, which is it's just so sad as a Terran player. You want to get that Reaper out before the Lings pop, before the Queens pop, before speed is there. But at this point where he scouted both locations incorrectly both times, this Reaper is looking for SC, er, Zerglings to kill, I guess, on the Zalaga Watchtowers. No such thing at all. And now he's going to be effectively, uh, I want to say, useless as far as attacking goes. He might get some scouting off, depending on the micro for Liquid Snoot, if he's going to let that happen. But I don't expect that to be the case. Alright, so the Reaper just checked for a third base. He knows there's not one there, which is good information. He did get some something out of that. The Queen immediately stabbing away, dodging the KD-8 charge, which does do 10 damage. You don't want to just take those to the face if you don't have to, as another player. As a Zerg player especially, 10 damage can be quite a bit. Seven drones in production at once for Liquid Snoot. Seven, it's 30 to 25 Harvesters right now. Knocking the Queen back on that one. The Speedlings are out though, Happy saw them. He saw the Speedlings and look out, look out, no, the surround, nice surround. And the Reaper wasn't paying attention for half a second, gets exploded. That has to be a bad way to go. I know I say that a lot, but the Reaper when it dies, flies up into the air and explodes. I mean, I suppose getting melted by acid from a roach might also be fairly bad or cleaved in half by an ultralisk but man reapers flying up into the air if you're afraid of heights that's probably your worst fear right there and then you explode man not good times not good times at all that reminds me of a video that i saw on reddit i want to say about a year ago now but it's these skydivers and there's a guy inside the plane with a video camera and he's you know watching everybody getting ready to jump out of the plane and then all of a sudden there's another plane that appears below the plane that they're in and it's like oh hey someone else is skydiving right now and then all of a sudden the plane below them just goes and rises up and crashes into them boosh and it's so scary there's flames immediately everything goes nuts and everybody just jumps everybody has shoots on they go and i looked into it later and actually it turned out that everybody survived that incident so even the pilots were wearing parachutes they were able to get out to i mean both planes were i think were a total loss but in the end, uh, everybody survived because of the parachutes, because they were paratrooping, because they were skydiving. They managed to survive that one. I'm just sure that was not the kind of thrill they were looking for when they were skydiving, but 
Anyway, just kind of reminded me that I never want to do that. Here comes a Hellion push with six Hellions. Yeah, coming right on up, getting rid of that Creep Tumor with prejudice. There are Roaches, there are Ravagers out though. They can try to take down that Hatchery if they want, but that's not really going to happen because Hellions do terribly against buildings. Overlords in good positions to scout for drops coming out of Happy so far. And a Liberator on the way for Happy. So a follow-up. No, Liberator set up here too. Oh, has no kills, but has effectively stopped most mining here. Ravager, no, oh, takes a shot to the face. Hellions being very annoying as well. Can they're waiting. The Ravagers are waiting for the Liberator to set up so they can kill it with some corrosive bile. There are some pretty dead areas back here though that can be difficult to reach. This spore crawler needs to move right here. Now, this is not helping at all to have a spore crawler this far away from the edge. There it is. Moving up to the edge, burrowing, and there goes the defender mode circle. Run, drones, run. They do. They do. But the spore crawler is in range, getting some shots off, forcing it to run away. This one is trying to set up at this base where there is no spore crawler. Oh, the transfer. The transfer. Look out, drones. Nope, drones. One shot. Good reaction time, though, from Snoot. Not allowing that to get out of control. Trying to sneak up here are the Hellions, but they get pinned by Lings and by Ravagers, and they are forced backwards. Forced back all the way home. This Liberator is set up in a weird position. Not really much to attack here. This one's still available. Oh, Crosa Bile is going to knock that one down after getting five kills. And actually getting some splash damage on that Overlord, too. These Hellions running all the way home. Can they make it home? No! What explodes? And a giant ball of fire. Can this one make it? He might be able to. This speed looking good. And let him in. Oh, they didn't have to let him in. Now he is. <laughs> He's like, come on, guys. This is serious. I'm being chased by Zerglings. And he does manage to get back in there. So the Liberator out here can pretty much fly around with impunity until a Spire comes out. Spore Crawlers and Ravagers are going to be of the utmost importance right now for Snoot. Continuing to macro throughout this whole thing at 66 to 47 Harvesters, 103 to 74. Total supply in favor of the Zerg player. A little bit oversaturated here. Should probably look to be taking a fourth base right about now. I mean, feeling pretty confident, especially considering Happy's taking his third at the moment. Is the taking an Overlord down? Is the Queen DPS enough? Cross the Bile? Not enough. Not enough to take down this Liberator. Liberator is up to two kills. I think those might be two Overlords, which, hey... It's good work if you can take it. The 3D portrait of the Liberator agrees with me. Getting stabbed by a queen, not worth it though. Definitely not worth it. Production tab shows 10 roaches with plus one missile attack on the way for Snoot. Meanwhile, Happy's doing the standard Terran stuff. Marines, uh, Medivacs, does he have any Marauders in here? Let's take a look at this composition. No, going for Marine Tank. Marine Tank Hellion with Stim, with Combat Shield, with Infantry Armor level one as well, and an Armory. Heading on back and forth here is this Liberator, again with three kills. This one here, three kills at the same time. Taking shots from Spores, just being super duper annoying right now. Queen is going to get herself a Liberator kill. Maybe taking a shot first. Yes, does take a shot first, but that's okay. Spore Crawler thrown down here. Happy can't really find a good place to go. But again, forcing these drones off the line, losing mining time is really nice. Really nice for Happy. Infestation pit coming up for Snoot. Wants to move into that Hive Tech as soon as possible. Does have that fourth base coming up too. Creep spread continuing for Snoot. Both players APM right now through the roof. Over 300 on average. About 450, 500 for Snoot. Just crazy, crazy requirements for Zerg players these days. Medivac heading on north with Marines. And a single Marine trailing on behind. That guy not in a good place. A double drops for Happy. Trying to come up through here. This does get scouted by those Zerglings. This one too, I think did get scouted. So Snoot should be ready for this. Is this Liberator still killing stuff? Up to four kills now. Poor Spore Crawler is forced to run back and forth. Single Marine does get taken down there. And bam! Oh, gets a last kill before she gets taken down. Liberator goes out in a blaze of glory. Has killed 12 workers to this point, which is good. Except, oh no, it's 67 to 67 workers. Wow, Happy's been busy on the macro side of things the last couple of minutes. Queen stabbing away at that medevac. Is there anything here to defend this? A single roach? No, Marine says, leave me. No, don't leave me behind. Ah, acid saliva to death. Going to move the drop down here, but here comes some Ravagers throwing down that Corrosive Bile. Missing, but enough Queens to take down the full Medivac. Ouch, another drop up here doing a little bit better for Happy, but Corrosive Bile is being tossed on once again, forcing a full retreat of that Medivac. Still no Spire, no Infestors. Snoot wants to deal with this drop play. It looks like with Infestors, how many Queens does he have? 13 Queens. Alrighty then, 13 Queens for Snoot. That's going to be the answer to the drops today. Three base Terran though, pretty scary stuff in Legacy of the Void. Anything else going on back here? No, I think that's it for the aggression for Happy. Gonna try to kill some creep tumors, if at all possible. Getting a Ghost Academy 
right now in preparation for Ultras. He's not even sure are coming. I don't see an Ultra Den anywhere. Roach versus Ravager. You're not going to win this one, Marines. Get out. Run for your lives. Crozabile. Not quite able to get that medevac. Just because it takes a while to land. And it's kind of easy to see coming. And it's hard to get things that can move fast with Crozabile. As Zerg players can attest. So, yeah. And Fester's on the way. I don't see a Hive coming up anytime soon. He's getting upgrades for his Carapace, Ground Carapace and his Missile Attack. Going Roach Ravager to this point. Pretty good choice, especially if Happy goes Mass Ghost. I don't think that's going to work very well. I mean, if he's just blindly going Ghost, assuming that we're going to see Ultras, that might not be the best plan. Fusion Core just now finishing here for Happy. Probably going to be for the upgrade for the Liberators. Uh, for that range on the defender mode. Just again, killing creep tumors. Another attempted drop coming up here. A double drop this time. And there are a couple marauders in that one. So he has started mixing in some marauders to his compositions. A fourth base there now for Happy as well. And sneaking around, throwing down 18 creep tumors at once. Because when you have that many queens, why not? Why not just do it? Look out, fungal. Oh, gets the fungal off. Infestor's still alive. Queen's trying to stab down. Nope. Queen's end up dead. Upgrade's a little bit too good right now for Happy. Plus two, plus two. Can he get a fungal off? No. Leaving some units to die, but the medevacs do manage to escape, which is kind of the big deal as it stands for Happy. Medevac count is at five. He'd probably want it to be a bit higher than it already is, but he's lost a bunch. He's lost a bunch. He has. How's that ghost count looking for Happy? Four total with three more on the way. This base under assault can... Snoot, save it. He's coming up with his Infestors. Yes, he is able to save it, but another drop over here running around. Ravagers getting mixed on in. We have attacks at several fronts right now. Happy is on the warpath. Dropping back here to heal is Happy. And again, creeps right over here. Not a bad idea. I kind of like it, actually, from Snoot. Where are the Queens going now? I do not know, but Pneumatized Carapace on the way for Snoot. As well as Carapace level 2 just now wrapping up. Plus 3 missile attack as well. Is he going to get stuck on Roach Ravager, everybody? I don't know. There's the advanced ballistics increasing the range of the defender mode ability by 4 or 2-4. Four. Is it by 4 or 2-4? I always mix up. By 4. Yeah, by 4. Dang, that's good. That's really good. Another attempt to drop back here. Some Liberators setting up defender modes. There is a Spore Crawler mixed in here too. These Ravagers are begging the Liberator to please go into defender mode so we can murder you. But no. The Liberator is not interested in doing that. All these brand new creep tumors getting absolutely massacred by these Marines and this Marauder. I'm going to pick up and boost the heck on out of there. No Spire it just makes it so hard to deal with drops. Oh, no, losing a full medevac. Oh, losing a full medevac. That never, never feels good at all for Happy. Another attempt at Liberator placement back here. Another one back here. So it's keeping the pressure up while continuing to, continuing to expand. I would say that Happy is in a good position here just because he's being so aggressive and he is killing a lot of stuff. He's killed 38 workers so far of Happy's and it's 80 to 54 Harvesters. Happy has 80 workers right now. That's a big number. All right. So, I mean, I would say that Happy's in a good position here, but at the same time, Snoot's been able to do pretty much what he wants tech-wise. He has enough workers to saturate his bases. His income is okay. He is basically maxed out and he's got the upgrades that he wants on these units too. So, he's going to try to go Roach Ravager and Fester here. Throwing down some changelings to see what he's dealing with. Tank count, not super high. Liberator count, fairly high, which is a bit of a concern there. Immediately sniping down those changelings very quickly. Indeed, another one dying. Blarp. Trying to morph into a marine. Not going to let that one happen. Sneaky, sneaky. A good scan there, seeing what he's dealing with is from Happy. Sensor tower coming up too. More and more Liberators. Again, Liberators not that great against Ravagers because Ravagers have the Corrosive Bile ability. They can go ahead and take them down as long as they hold still. And Liberators are best against ground when they're holding still. Really hard to dodge that Corrosive Bile if that's the case. So that lower worker count actually might be helping Snoot right now. Just giving his army a bit of a bigger supply. 137 to 101 total supply in the army there right now. Another Liberator attack. Another Marine heading on out. Setic up at the front door as a Zerg really makes your opponent start to worry a little bit, though. That maybe they want to sit back home with some of their units and play defense. Maybe a planetary fortress there. That's an orbital command. Weird place for it, but hey, Happy is a much, much better Terran player than I am. Trying to set up in a position to kill stuff and has that extra range. Look at that. Extra four range. Look how far away that Liberator is. That is actually being nerfed in a future patch. I believe the distance on that is going to be knocked down a little bit. Just make the Liberators, Liberators a little bit less overpowered, I think, in this particular situation. Because you need air to kill this, I think. I don't know if Ravagers can even reach that one. Another attempt to come up here. 
And you're dead because there are spine crawlers. Spine crawlers being pretty darn good against marines, even with their upgrades. Even with the upgrades. Speaking of which, plus two, plus three here, plus three armor on the way. And plus three, plus two there. Good fungal and bile. Unnecessary. And there's the spire. Okay, so Liquid Snoot says, I am definitely doing that. He did some extractor trick shenanigans here to get up to 211 out of 200. Thing is, he needs to do something with this. He doesn't really want to attack into an entrenched position for Happy. I don't think he does. Anyway, sniping down that queen with a steady targeting ability seems like overkill, but the ghosts have to practice their abilities on something. Another scan available to kill these creep tumors, I have to imagine, eventually. And another base here for Happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bases now for Happy. One, two, three, four, five, six for Snoot. Happy is out expanding the Zerg player right now, which is dead impressive. Dead impressive, if I do say so myself. Marines taking some shots right to the face. Zelnaga Watchtower is now unpossessed once again. Queen killing a Marine with one kill to her name. She is a predator. Another group down here by Happy going to boost on up. It's a small group, but it can be a pretty potent group with that plus three, plus three. Uh, <laughs> small boost up landing just to kill creep tumors. That's the idea. I feel like Snoot's kind of playing contained right now. He needs to kill a couple bases, though, I think, to really get things going. Uh, or at least maybe draw Happy out onto the creep as creep spread is continuing to push out here across the map, despite the number of creep tumors that have been killed. Uh, it's still looking fairly healthy for the Zerg, Zerg player here at the 16 minute mark. Spire on the way, is that a second Spire? I feel like he already had one going. I don't know, this group does get killed though. Thank you for playing. Thank you for being a friend. So Happy's attacks are getting less and less effective, although he has locked down this base entirely. No mineral gathering going on whatsoever from that base. And expi expanding over here is Snoot. Oh, the scan catches it, though. Nice scan by Happy, seeing what he's dealing with. That is so close to the Terran base, which is a little bit scary. Ah, and the Spore Crawler takes down the Liberator right there. Liberator had this on lockdown, decided to get greedy, head up over this way, and got killed instead. The Oh, boy. Steady targeting on the Queens, ignoring armor, and EMPs, too, being thrown down. Defender mode circles everywhere. Wow, shots taking out Infestors. That is a tough spot. Tough spot to be in right now for the Zerg player. Look at all these defender mode circles. Spire just about to finish for Snoot. He has a huge bank. He could switch over, I think, into Corruptor Brewlord if he wanted to and maybe be okay. But once again, that steady targeting is so good. A nuke! Nuke on the way. Nuke in production as well. This nuke is not going to do much of anything. But they're always fun to watch. Oh, they kill two creep tumors. That's nice. They didn't actually burn these trees. I thought they might. That is something that can happen. Hatchery does get taken down by these ghosts and liberators and so many ghosts. Holy shamoly. Yeah, the scans are pretty much constant right now for Happy. He has enough orbital commands to scan every second if he wants to. Look at this. Definitely happening. Fungal growth on top of these units, weakening them. We are getting crazy right now, ladies and gentlemen. Defender Circles here. What can Snoot do against this? It's assault on one of his only mining bases right now. Another fungal and a corrosive bile. Fungal bile. Taking out those front lines, but now a nuke right on the front line. Can he figure out where the ghost is that has that nuke? He's looking for it, and nope. I don't even know where it is. Either way, that nuke is going to fall. Goodbye, larva. And the extractor ends up getting destroyed there. An attack at the front here with some ravagers and a whole ton of overseers. That's interesting. Taking down production facilities here and just the constant sound of the scan. Can you hear that? The constant scanning from Happy right now. He has so many orbital commands, he doesn't care about wasting energy. He doesn't care about saving it for any reason whatsoever. And Liberators here getting rid of all of these Overseers. Look out, Cloaked Ghosts mixed in too. Course of Biles being thrown down to kill the Liberators if they can, but no, not looking good at all for Snoot. Not enough units to deal with this, that's for sure. Pretty good composition. Does take down a couple Ghosts. We could hear their screams of death there. And Steady Targeting, basically one-shotting Ravagers. Oh man, that is a good spell. Terran players, use that one. Get ghosts, do steady targeting. It will definitely save you a bundle. All right, so Carapace level one, flyer attacks level two, and 15 roaches on the way. I think Snoot might be going for air here, but man, what do you do against these ghosts? I guess Lings might be a good idea. Come through with Corruptors, clear out the Liberators as best you can, and then just Sling surround everything else because that steady targeting is no good against tiny units like that. Couple Marines get taken down by that acid saliva attack. Single Marine taking down a hatch. This is where Happy wants to put a command center, you jerk. 
more changelings being thrown on down. Another hatchery coming up here too. Both players triple expanding though. Is Snoot happy is expanding once and getting an orbital command at another place. Getting plus three ship weapons too. Don't see that a lot. More defender mode circles mixed up everywhere. Everywhere. More steady targeting being used. Every Ravager just absolutely feels like it's getting killed. Another hatchery does get cancelled. A Ling run by here. Lings aren't that good actually against planetary fortresses. Their upgrades need to be really good to make something happen and no. Not going to happen here at all. Planetary Fortress up to 19 kills. Marines. Defender Mode Circle's killing stuff too. Another Ling attack run by. Like I said, Snoot should be going for them Lings. Trying to kill some of the SCVs. I'm not sure if that's actually hurting Happy that much as much as it is just freeing up supply. Uh, another attack up this way for Happy. Forcing a full retreat there of the drones. The army trying to come through here, but it's just steady targeting, man. Really good. Really good. There's another steady... Actually canceling that steady targeting with the attack. These ones aren't being canceled, though. All the Ravagers just getting melted to this point. A little bit too close to the front lines, though, are the Ghosts. And taking some Corrosive Biles to the face. And Ghosts are dying. They are killing a lot of stuff with them, though. You can hear the individual steady targeting is going off left and right right now. Everywhere, it seems like. There's a scan everywhere, it seems. There is a steady targeting. And there it is. Fungal Growths on the Ghost. But another group of Ghosts getting sneaked on in here. Enough lings to do it. No, the Liberator is clearing them out, one-shotting those lings very quickly. Indeed, and it's not looking good for Snoot right now. It really isn't. 42 to 72 total supply. The base looks very, or the map looks very red right now for Happy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like 14 bases for Happy right now in this 21 and 25, 21 minute, 25 second game. I, I don't know, like there's a greater spire, but again, ghosts are so good, so good against broodlords. I just don't think that's going to be the answer for Snoot. He's getting corruptors, he's getting roaches, he's getting plus three melee attack, but it's 193 to 148 total supply, army supply 120 to 107 in favor of Happy. The scans basically giving map, Happy map hacks throughout this game, and here come the defender mode circles everywhere, walking into a spawning, or a spore crawler doesn't care that much. Might actually lose a Liberator, though. Yep, does lose a single Liberator. Here he comes right on through with the Corruptors trying to crush all these Liberators. But the Steady Targeting killing so many of these Corruptors being forced to retreat, being forced to give up this base once again. Defender Mode Circle is just absolutely owning the ground right now. Some drones mixed in, too. Snoot is on his last legs. He can kill some Medivacs, which is nice. He can. Uh, Corruptors here taking out a few Liberators, but is it enough? I don't know. The scans... There's nowhere to hide for Snoot right now. He's just... Oh, did we do that? We did that. Let's come back with that one. Snoot trying to come around from the backside for a flank against this army. That doesn't look that big and threatening, but this Liberator Ghost composition really working super well for Happy right now, especially in these tight, narrow areas where Snoot has to attack. Trying to get in here from the backside with the Corruptors. Trying to throw down Corrosive Biles as best as humanly possible, but the Ravagers taking severe hits. More steady targeting being used. The Corruptors are getting sniped down here. Are there any Corruptors left? Yes, there is a single one left, and that's it. A GG from Snoot. Snoot is defeated. Happy is victorious, and Snoot has left the game. Wow, masterful display there by Happy. Just incredible Terran style in that game. Resources lost tab has got to be crazy. Let's see here. Where is that one? Uh, uh, that's not resources. Is that resources lost? Workers killed. Units killed. 378. Versus 163. Is that the one? Resources here. Resources lost. There it is. 34,400 resources lost for Snoot. 20,600 for Happy. 470 units lost. 169. I mean, that was as efficient play as you're ever going to get out of a Terran player against a Zerg. Just incredible play. Again, all around for Happy. He takes the win just by expanding everywhere and getting this composition that is really hard to deal with. I think a Zerg. Trying to think, maybe he's got a Corruptor Ball that's big enough to withstand the Teddy Steady targeting, get rid of the Liberators, and then come in with Lings? I think that might be my best bet. Infestors, if they can get close enough for Fungal, that's super good too, but a lot of Infestors died in that game. I mean, Hap uh, Snoot made a bunch and had zero at the end, so not enough, but man, Ghosts, MVP of TVZ. If you can get there, I recommend doing it, because these guys all have, I mean, several kills each, except for that one. He only has one, but... He was long for the ride. Okay, so that's it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.